let us discuss uh, actually uh, this thing I, I just wanted to uh, show that uh, uh, this last change that I did uh, where I added the wheel and seat uh, generators you can see that there has been 17 additions and 15 deletions so uh, net net uh, two extra lines added now you will see that in main.kt there is one line added for uh, the spare wheel example and one line to print that out okay so these are example lines okay just to show some features so uh, we can remove these from the equation because even without these lines our feature uh, set has already increased right so with 15 additions and 15 deletions that is without increasing our code base by a single line we have added new functionality okay we have added the functionality of uh, the number of seats dependent upon the type of the car and we have added the new uh, functionality of the spare wheel okay so uh, this is an example of a good uh, feature refactoring uh, commit so you're bringing in a feature, you're refactoring an existing use case, okay, uh, without uh, changing earlier ex uh, code that existed, without affecting that. Uh, you are uh, anybody who had written code earlier, they, that code is still able to run. Its internal implementation is getting updated. A refactoring is happening. A feature is getting added, and you are doing all of this at zero extra cost in number of lines. So this is like a, a good example where you are able to reduce code and add feature so that's something always aim to do when you're using a design pattern so this is also a design pattern okay generating a sequence based on a variable uh, this is also a design pattern everything like this is a pattern okay so all the design patterns that uh, you know emerge out of your code base they should emerge out of need uh, to add features and the need to reduce your code base and make things keep looking simpler and simpler